Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on this article about weather map briefings pages, and in particular a custom one that we have made for mariners to use underway or on land, but they're especially valuable underway. The concept is based on this official briefings pages that are made by NOAA, and you can look at those links here. And those links, a briefings, a term used a long time ago, is means is one page that lists all the maps as you've just seen. I clicked that one page and I automatically with a very fast connection on land just loaded every single latest version of all the maps of the Pacific. They're not in any particular order and in fact I downloaded several megabytes just with that one click. And each of these maps are fairly big. This one's about 66 uh, kilobytes by itself. They take the Pacific and they actually have the East and West together and underway we can download just half of that and so on. So these, uh, this weather, these briefings from NOAA are uh, uh, very valuable when you're on land. But once you're underway, that's just not feasible because you don't need them all and uh, that's a very big size. Of maps. So at the bottom of the page, this article then explains what we're doing with our concept, and then the bottom of the page is a link. And these link, these are PDF files. So the concept that we have is you you can view these online. I just click that, and then you could just download uh, download this to your computer, and then you have it on your computer, and you interact with it as a PDF. It's an interactive PDF. You can, in fact, even mail it to yourself and uh, run it on an iPad. Works fine on an iPad. Um, so what these are is we've taken, a, we made a little graphics index. These pictures here are just drawings. They're not what the picture looks like, the latest one. They're just a reminder to you of what each of these maps looks like. Uh, what you're going to get when you get it, you're just going to get the latest version. And they're also organized according to surface forecasts or service analysis and then forecasts and then the wind and waves all the sea state is here wind and waves and then 500 millibars and so and they're organized latest 24 hours is here 48 hours and 96 hours and uh, also we have and the first one I'm sorry a little bit special because we broke this one up that's normally on the weather briefings as one full map we broke that in half so you got part one and part two which is the way they're for they're broadcasted on the on the radio facts and if you click uh, this button you just get the map uh, you get the large map and it's not the largest this is 33 kilobytes this guy here but uh, you could some places offer this at 88 uh, 300 kilobytes it depends but that's 33 kilobytes but then you can go to this we have a link here to this absolutely wonderful service from sail docs where they will uh, you just uh, click the click this button and then it will you don't want a signature or anything on there and it will create the right statement of what you want to ask for put the right address and then you just mail it uh, doesn't need any anything else than that and you send that off to them and they'll email back to you a uh, picture of the map so this is a uh, is, is an absolutely uh, wonderful service and uh, and then you can practice you can practice with this there's one for the Atlantic and one for the Pacific and I just might mention in terms of briefings there is such a thing as a text briefing from uh, oh, there's the map back and that's what it looks like. So this has come back, and so this is this map, and then this is the this is the full size map. And you can see that these are uh, actually perfectly. It's rugged, a little bit rugged because it's been reduced. And they're TIFF files, which are kind of nasty things to deal with anyway. But anyway, they work. They'll work perfectly fine and tell you what you need. Our main objective here in this process is later we're making each of these into an e-chart that then you can load right into your navigation program to uh, to navigate with or to compare with the grid files. So the last note, though, on the on the briefings is the National Weather Service also offers a text briefing. So that gives you then all the text briefings for the along the coast, for the high seas in the ocean, and all for the tropical storms that are in there. Uh, and that's there. It's called text briefings. On the other hand, we're right back to sail docs. Sail docs has a much nicer, in a sense, way to do that. 
because you can just go uh, go and get those with a mail link. And we have another another article here that describes how important this is and how you get these from sale docs. And I just want to stress that when you're in the tropical area, you cannot get adequate storm warning information from any map, from any map at all, from any agency. The maps are not adequate, and also the GRIB files are notoriously not adequate. So you really do need to get those text files when you're dealing in the tropics, and SailDocs has a great way to do that. So I'll stop now and uh, recommend you have a look and play with our uh, custom, uh, this thing back here is custom uh, custom briefings pages pdfs mail it to yourself do whatever thank you bye